these kids definitely uh, lighten up my day. They're, they're like the bright spots in this uh, chaotic world sometimes. Because they never bring in that negative energy. And if there's ever a time in which some, one of us is going through something, there it's like you don't have to say anything to kind of sense it and feel it. And they'll like try to, you know, crack a joke to make you laugh. Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars I'm gonna give you my heart Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars Cause you light up the path Chill, like nonchalant kind of attitude. They're like cool, but not like when they were like in ninth grade. Like the stories I heard, oh my god, so interesting. Oh my goodness, walking into the first day. They were full of energy. 
They're all standing in line. Room. They looked really, really, really scared. In our first year too, like we had no idea what we were doing. Well, we're starting this journey literally together. Lots of energy. They were crazy. So during freshman year, they were... They were insane. They felt nervous. That I was going to be on my toes and have so much fun with them. They actually sat in a science seat. We had Candy who couldn't sit in her seat to save her life. We would actually pull each other's hair all the time. I'm going to kind of front and be a little bit like tough with them. They were very, very rowdy. I think that backfired on me a little bit. And everybody kept saying, oh, it's going to get better by November, and it wasn't. We wanted them to see each other as a, as a family. Me and them during the freshman year, I would put a bed like they were the best kids ever. And I miss those days. Those are some, some great memories that I have with them. But now I'm like, like you guys are cool, chilling, cool. Yeah, I miss their butt because we're all like grown up now. Freshman year, Robinson Games. They were so excited. Um, they were so prideful because it's like the past, what, three, four years prior to that, green team kept winning. They came in ready. They just had energy. We had to, we lost our voice just trying to get the lessons. They would never sit down dancing on top of tables. It was just like madness the whole, the whole year. The clock is ticking, the air is so still. I feel your heartbeat and you feel my chills. We waited a lifetime to see the sun. No more waiting, the time has come. We sing one, now everybody rise above. We sing two, united with a super love. We sing three, we need to come together now and we'll make a fire. A fire single one, two This is our time This is the moment These are our lives And we gotta fight For what we believe Believe in what's right We are alive, alive, alive This is our time In your emotional state In your knowledge about the future Your mental state In your And like I said, they brought in that energy day one. There is no shyness at all. Even two of us in the same room sometimes, it was a lot of energy. Just so much like love and energy. Always ready to have fun. A lot of personality. <laughs> Make the teacher laugh. They were very hands-on. I did a lot of labs with them. I just remember them being really, really loud. So then I would even go like, all right, everybody outside. Line up in the hall. We're going to do this again. They actually got it finally. And then at some point I realized like, they're just good friends with each other. This is their time to like uh, enjoy time with each other. They appreciate when you're there, 100% regardless. They require a lot of support, emotionally, mentally. You, you just never know. Okay, here we go. Okay, hands in the middle, hands in the middle. It's time to go. So I'm gonna send this to you. Not because. 
she did not let us out. And it's 308, but she needs to let us out like early. You've got a voice to so use it. Right? Here we go. never we never came back live in the moment they say high school is where you're going to make all these great memories they say but how how can we live in the moment when we are forced to stay home forced to take care of the younger ones forced to be worried of having enough money forced to be worried of this stupid realistic disease that is killing us slowly it ruins your life your hopeless your vision of the world having to wake up at 7 30 to go to school for at least seven hours on screen. Then more hours trying to complete all the assignments while having the responsibility of taking care of the other ones. I'm sorry I turned in my work late and lacked the participation. Lights were out. Being a little black box on Zoom. I felt like we did lose people. Lights were out, cameras off. Then we lost ourselves. But if you knew what happened on the other side of the screen, like you just knew you wouldn't judge. And wishing and praying he was not dead. And the next day, I had to go to school like nothing happened. I'm trying to focus and not think of what happened. Relieving everything in my head again and again. Just stay focused for a few more hours. Just leave. But I'm tired. I'm tired of acting like nothing is happening. I'm tired of being home and doing the exact same thing every day. I'm tired of waking up in the morning and feeling like, when is this day over? They lied. Where are my great memories I was promised? Where? I just imagine a world without this virus. Hanging out with my friends, going to school and having interaction. But mostly, I would be able to enjoy life and all the memories that come with During distance learning, I think they share, or they share their concerns and like worries, you know, questions about like what's going to happen to you or like are we going to have, you know, grandma, are we going to have mama, are we going to even come back to school? So there was a lot of uncertainty. Honestly, I couldn't really have an actual conversation with any of them. Zoom really, I think, isolated a lot of us. It was more so good morning, and I would hear maybe like one or two, maybe Alvis saying, hey. For me, I think that temporary year when we were like getting to know them and like we were in that tight space, it kind of got taken away. You know, they tried. It was early in the morning, right? Advisory, first session of the day. As human beings, we always need the other. We always need the other person. And they tried. They, they logged in, but never did I see their face. So it was definitely a year in which we were definitely important. We can only make uh, make it so far by ourselves. Well, we don't even have any pictures of Junior, but I'm sure they have pictures of themselves hanging out, because that's who they are. They can't live without each other. They love each other so much. Some nights I stay up cashing in my bad luck. Some nights I call it a draw. 
Some nights I wish that my lips could build a castle Some nights I wish they'd just fall off But I still wake up, I still see a ghost Oh Lord, I'm still not sure what I stand for Like a lot of kids who didn't speak in class spoke a lot online. And we just tried to do like fun things with them. We got to see like a lot of good things in students who normally we wouldn't have seen in person. Quiet Candy, Irene, Isaiah. Isaiah was the first one there every single day, always talking. Yeah, he would he would be there like 10, 15 minutes early. Yeah, he always had his Darius picture up, doing his Darius impressions, and he always had his toes somehow in the camera, which is like ridiculous. His toes? Always had his feet showing. Somehow, somehow. What, did he do that on purpose? No. <laughs> been waiting for the tides to change for the waves to send you my way i see you darling but you pixelate it gets hard to take these days but we'll hold the line i won't let go Cause when Cause when Cause when I'm in a room with you, that missing piece is found. I'm glad that they're back. Three years later, yeah. I said at first, like, you know, their senior year, it was weird to get to the first rally. They were all very quiet. Oh, all, all this spread apart. They were so distant with each other. So I want to sit here somewhere, just like, don't look at me. You look at me, there's something wrong. I like <laughs> thing, like, when we first walked in, they, they had their little group of friends, you know, every mm -hmm. little corner. This year, we've been trying to really get to know each other. Mm. They don't want to participate at all. Resetting. There are some things that I didn't know about my students. Like, I didn't know they worked. When I see them together and talk to each other, to people that maybe uh, a year back they had talked to, it was amazing. And then this year, this 
joy of seeing each other. They went from crazy their freshman year to all of them doing amazing things their senior year. It's all these like individual stars and everything is just like swirled together. They are the ones there for you. They're coming back to provide the same support for you. And I'm pretty sure she knows how that feels, right? Now it's kind of like the students are, are taking the shit themselves. We just feel like doing it. They're coming back to us. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, can I help you now? Sometimes they will just, just do stuff. Then it's from tennis. They do help a lot in the classroom. They did a big giant P for Team Pink. They even brought in lights and outlined the whole thing in lights. Hey sir, can we hang out a few decorations? And I was like, why? Because we need a little bit of brightness in here. I really want to shout out, you know, my advisory for being there for me now as seniors. And I didn't ask them to do any of this. They just wanted to do it. Like, Go for it. Let me look and see what I got. And I brought some Christmas decorations and they were like decorating, you know, the, the curtains and the windows. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much. Them taking their time out of their mornings to help me get ready and, you know, ask me, hey, do I need anything? And they can see it in my face. Like if I'm stressing out, they'll offer their uh, their hands to me. For my birthday. Yeah, they were like, oh, Mr. Will buy you something. I'm like, what? What do you mean? It was a, a birthday card with a plant, a live plant. You guys read my mind because I'm into plants right now. <laughs> Probably because of the pandemic, but they, they got it. I was like, wow, that's so sweet. Oh, mister, they brought you something for your birthday. Fossler, have they brought you something for your birthday yet? <laughs> uh, no. They know how to come back to you. They know, like, who's there for them. Had, like, boxes and boxes in the back of, like, math books. Hey, miss, we got you. Let me all stack them up for you. They're leaders. Being leaders. They are leaders. 100%. These kids can be the teachers in the room. You're like, miss, I got you. I got you. Ready to go. Ready to be the leader. Ready to speak in front of the class. They check on students. They check on their teachers. They miss their junior year. They got to like you know to like you know interact with their teachers. So I feel like even then, like that's what they remember. That's what they want. See? Your heart is beating beside me. It's trying to ignite. It gives off the heat of the sunbeam. Inside out and I, I think I know who to blame We have a fever that's wild and dangerous And I want to dance in the flame Hey, what's going on? Congratulations, class of 2022. We're going to miss you so much. You made it. And by the time you realize it, it'll all be over. And here you are, future graduates. We are so proud of you. I am so proud of all of you. I am very proud of you all. Graduates of the class of 2022. You are goofy. You're funny. Oh my God, you're so funny. A lot of you kind of set the tone on what AGR should feel like. A family, we're a family. You find joy everywhere. You thrive despite the many challenges that were thrown at you over the last four years. I'm honored. I'm lucky to have been able to have taught you this year. You're more than prepared. And I don't know how it's possible to find joy in this pandemic, but you bring me joy. You've always brought me joy. You've always made me laugh. I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss your light. Pushing through the darkness. Go out there, tackle what the world has for you. Remember, there's strength in all of you. And know that there's gonna be so many things that we cannot change that are beyond our control. But we need to have the courage and the awareness 
awareness, to know what we can change and then do it. It's okay to feel sad or lost sometimes. That's so life, that's being human. But you'll know it so when it's time to get up. Take a chance. Learn to trust yourself. You never give up. Learn to love yourself. Trust yourself. Love yourself. You are enough. You're beautiful. Be ready for what's to come. Work. Work habits matter. Develop good habits. With every challenge, it's an opportunity for you to show who you really are. You are strong. Make sure that you are good human beings. You can do hard things. There's nothing that can stop you as long as you don't give up. Make smart choices. Continue to invest in yourself and in your community. Lift each other up. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Read books. Be courageous. Write poetry. Don't stop making art. Be spontaneous. Speak your truth. Be creative. Sparkles. Twinkles. So don't panic and embrace the struggle. We love you. We love you. We love you. The world deserves people like you. We're always here for you. We're going to miss you, class of light. And I'm very happy for each and every one of you. And keep us updated. And we'll be here for you when you need us. AGR will always be a home for you. If you ever need help remembering how strong you are, just reach out to us and we'll help you through anything you need. You are our pride and our joy. You are incredibly good. Oh God, I'm never gonna forget you. Best of luck in your future. I wish you the best. And good luck in the next chapter of your lives. Thank you for everything. I'm going to miss you. Remember, you are amazing. Be free. You are driven. Have faith. You are resilient. You got this. You're all gonna really miss you. But don't forget, you are monarchs. Once monarch, always monarch. I can't wait to see what you accomplish. I'm so excited to see all the places you're going to go. Kid, you'll move mountains. So get on your way. I wish you all the best. We love you, Monarchs. Thank you. Sky's the limit. See you around. Bye, guys. like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes uh -uh, uh -uh. it feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight to fall in love with strangers uh -uh, uh -uh. yeah we're happy free confused and lonely at the same time it's miserable and magical the whole scene and end up dreaming